Ooh, what old chaps, I'm Magical Mike, and that is a huge freaking airship, which I'm sure we've all seen many, many times by now. This time he's docking in Ratasum, or Ratasum, 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 however you want to pronounce that. There you go, smash some trees. It's great, this is the last day that we're going to be able to see him landing in a place, apart from tomorrow, I suppose we might see him land in Lion's Arch. Not really sure. Because it isn't tomorrow yet, at the time I'm recording this. If, uh, let's not get into that, it's confusing me already. Anyway, this one... This one... Um, um, I'll get into that in a second. But I'm about to steal this present off this script. Just get him, kill him, kill him, get him, get him, get him. Where's he gone? Oh. He ran away. Yep. Yeah. The problem with this is that everything's repeating now, and we've already seen everything at this point. So all of these little mini events in between sections are going to be bits that you've already done or you've already seen, or if you're late to the party then I suppose you might not have done it. But uh, if you're doing these every single day, you're going to have repeated these quite a few times, which some people might find cathartic, having to destroy these princess dolls, because if you're like me, you don't like them. Especially out in the world, I mean, jeez. If you open presents, and you get these things pop out, run the hell away. Because <laughs> they're going to kill you. Oh, they hurt quite badly. I'm not sure if they're worse than the Ventari dolls or not. And I haven't actually fought the Char plushies, the Griffins, or the Golems yet, so... Actually, they might not. The the princesses might not be too bad in comparison. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. So we're repeating stuff. Some people might not mind that. I guess uh, I don't know. It feels like they should have spread their their ideas out a little bit more. Maybe. I uh, I don't know. What's a Quite a nice view of the toy making facility, but shouldn't be really paying attention to that, should I? I should be fighting the things that are killing my teammates. Yes. So, what was I saying? Stuff about repeated events. Which is ironic, because now I'm repeating myself. Oh look, a rare! That's cool. Hurrah! A traveller's banded coat of litter. You can tell that this thing is getting a little bit old, because my commentary is just falling apart over the days. But not to worry, because this part will be done soon. And uh, we'll get to do new stuff. Eventually. Surely. At some point. I do still like fighting these char, though. Just the way that they group up and you can AOE them out. It's quite fun. And with it being another day, I'm going to be gonna be using another Norn form. This time it's Raven. Let's just scream at these guys. Oh yeah. Take that, you char buggers. How do I feel about them repeating? Quite disappointed, but hopefully the, the toy apocalypse tomorrow will be much, much better. And if not better, then hopefully it'll feel good. I'm not the kind of person that likes grinding stuff, so at Halloween with the Mad King's Dungeon, that was a repeatable, grindable thing that I must have done maybe 10 to 20 times before I just got absolutely sick to death of it. Other people did it a ridiculous amount of times, but I... no, I, I couldn't take that. So the new stuff, finally, after those griffins, you get this oversized haywire golem, which is up there in the rafters. You might have seen Erebus fighting that. I'm not sure if you could see it in the footage, but I could at the time. So you go up there with the teleporter, and by the time I actually got up there, people had pretty much killed it. That was it. Very simple fight. I don't think he really did anything too impressive. Oh no, I didn't jump off here, did I? Oh, I should have jumped off and tried to fly as a raven. No, I used to teleport because I'm a wimp. I tried to fly there, I guess that counts? I don't know. I'm, I'm more interested to see what you guys think of all this stuff, because I think they put too many of their unique ideas into the first couple of days, and then sort of it dragged on after that. Speaking of dragging on, this fight dragged on far too much because Tox teleports and that is kind of irritating because by the time I get into melee range 
you'll see every single time she teleports away. Oh, I actually got some damage off this time. Teleport. <sighs> I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. I... well, you've heard what I think. But I can't wait for the Toy Apocalypse thing to see if that's any good. To see what the unique rewards are at the end of the entire event. And that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the finale, I suppose.